Hey guys, what's going on? Andy Brew coming at you, and there is a new Crash Bandicoot game coming out, and I am so excited. Uh, last week, this got kind of, I don't know if it was leaked or teased or both, <laughs> however, the, but regardless, there was information that came out about this last week, uh, and now we have the official trailer that is out. I'm going to be watching and reacting to the trailer as well as uh, the interview that's going to take place afterwards, uh, and yeah, I am a huge Crash Bandicoot fan. Crash is probably my favorite platformer of all time. Crash Bandicoot was also the very first video game that I ever played as a kid. I was five years old whenever I played the first one. Uh, and so, yeah, we're gonna be watching the trailer and reacting to it, and without further ado, let's get into it. Now, this is taken from the live stream, I think, from Summer Game Fest. I was sleeping when the live stream was going on, and actually, it still might be going on right now, but... Um, hey guys, Jeff Keeley, welcome Jeff, to my Summer dude. Game Fest. We've got a great show kicking off this week for you. Uh, I'm really and also I heard that another week of video game uh, Crash Four is not being made by Naughty Dog. That sound outside. Oh my gosh! I literally I thought that was coming from like my house. Special package for Gef. Jeef. Gef. Jeef. Geo. Fef. Keglegs. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Geofef? I'm gonna call him Geofef for now on. <laughs> Not this again. I'm in the middle Jeff's a man. of a live stream right now. This guy always crashing my important shows. Hey. I'm gonna see what this is, but let me tell you, it better be worth it. I think it will be. Crash, I really Jeff, you're invited to smash. <laughs> oh, no. This is the Crash 4 trailer. What do you guys think about Crash Bandicoot uh, and Smash Brothers? Right. I would love it. Let me know what you it's think down below. Time. Exactly. It's about time and it's about Crash Bandicoot. Here we go. You banished me to the past. But all it did was give me more time to plan your doom. Whoa. Okay. Yo. Okay. New masks. Oh my gosh. This actually looks good. Like, I didn't really know what to expect. This looks sweet. Oh my gosh. You can play as Cortex? That's so sick! Oh, and Coco, yeah, cool. You can play as Cortex, that's awesome. Yo! You can take selfies. I saw Engine playing the drums. This looks good. I'm actually super excited for this. It's about wumping time. October second. Oh, How many times have you beaten this clown anyway? Three. Really? Only three? <laughs> funny. Seemed like more. <laughs> That's funny. That's so hilarious. Big news. Crash for a brand new crash. Because it has been more than three, this but this is and officially right the Crash Four. Joined by Paul from Toys for Bob. To tell What's up, Paul? The brand new Crash. I'm guessing all, it's taking uh, so Crash Four. For so uh, it's it's obviously crash taking place after Crash Warp. Amazing remasters of uh, the Crash trilogy and CTR, but this is a a brand wow. new Crash game built from the ground up. That's right. It's uh it's hard to believe, but it's been over ten years since we've seen an original new above his head. Series, so I'm what? delighted to uh, finally unveil this secret. That I want to know more about those new masks. Uh, this, the brand new. Crash 4, it's about time. That's and so it's cool. A, it's a play on the fact that we've been waiting for so long, but also it's a game that's literally about time. Right. Yeah, it's about time, but it's also like about time. Like we, we've been wanting a new Crash game. I mean, you know, playable Neo Cortex, Coco, Crash. But you skipped some boxes, curious, my guy. Like what, you, know, you guys had worked on uh, the, that, the, that the, irks the remasters me. of Crash. That irks me. To start with a new game, there's, I'm sure, so much trepidation about like, 
what's going to be a worthy, you know, follow on calling it Crash 4. How did you guys approach this? Like, what kind of game did you want to build? Yeah, I, I guess the first thing is we asked ourselves, where did we want to start? And mm. though technically this is the eighth game in the series, um, all of the fan reception that was coming out of... I thought, I'm pretty sure there's more than eight games. Um, we wanted to go back to the original trilogy and start from that. We're deliberately I could be wrong. Crash I'm trying to think. We want to key it off of the original trilogy that was developed yeah, by Yeah, Rafa Cortex. And that was certainly a high point in the series. If you count, like, Crash Team Racing, Crash Tag Team Racing, and so that's where uh, the events Crash of the Titans, off, Mind of Remutant, all those ones. We're starting right at the end of that when Dr. Neocortex... Huh. Twin Sanity. And yeah, it's more than eight, but... Vanished to this distant planet. And Yo. And they finally found a way, after many, a long, many, many fruitless attempts, they found a way to break out. Um, and in doing so, they've torn this gigantic hole in the universe. That's actually cool. And exposed the fact that there's a multiverse. So it's going to be up to the That's Bandicoons, awesome. Crash, and Coco to restore that order by reuniting the four great quantum masks oh the gameplay style i think you know a lot of people that's awesome are probably wondering yeah crash they warp they get trapped in 20 cortex and uka uka get trapped is, like you know the more in that linear, thing um you know classic crash so that would make sense now, like, that's cool you know, wonder like it's an open world crash game how are you doing it like tell us about balancing kind of the the old style of gameplay it looks good not broken. even like though it's not naughty dog doing it like it looks do, it looks you know, great styles of gameplay based on the trailer it looks like you're being kind of still faithful to the original style yeah of crash versus making it some big you know pretty open world but is that correct like how did you approach the actual style of the gameplay yeah that's absolutely right um i think what we've heard was that people have found that style of gameplay to be really refreshing to absolutely return to and so we wanted to key off of that and that's good when we observe some of the other games and, oh, wow. and how they've evolved over time you're totally right they've gone to a place where they're a little bit more open in nature and as a concept it is cool because challenges and things that you interact at with, its core really it's the same right which is great exploration and maybe there's a little bit more focus um collection and combat but there are some different like, mechanics with like it looks like the masks and stuff gameplay, which is cool it's dense and it's focused mm -hmm. and it's really the streams of hazards and the challenges the platforming challenges they come and they're there's almost a rhythmic quality to it and how reliable it is and I know that for me, when I see I Aku Aku chilling in the back, and I understand the nuance of the timing and the placement of all the different hazards, you can enter into uh, a sort of flow state uh, when you understand that kind of musicality. Multiple playable characters. Uh, how are you doing that? Is it kind of like yeah, I was level, ask. or how, like we saw? Are we gonna have a crash route on a cortex route? How, how does that or just work by level? Yeah, I'm curious with cortex specifically. So crash and Coco, you're gonna be able to choose between them at any point in time. Gotcha. And they share the same mm -hmm. moveset. Over the course of the adventure, you're going to encounter some new friends, some familiar faces, and um, you're right. There, there's gonna be some new playable Yo, characters. We're teasing on, today, Doctor Neo Cortex. He's yeah. Got a completely different move set from crash and coco right so where the bandicoots kind of barrel through and they've got the ability to spin and slide and belly slam dr neo cortex is um he's a little bit more of a cerebral character uh he's a mad scientist he's got inventions and he relies on his intellect huh. so he's got a ray gun that he carries around with him and that ray yeah, gun they weren't showing a lot of the cortex gameplay transmogrify hazards and enemies into platforms and he can choose between changing them into a static solid platform oh. or a bouncy platform. That's that cool. Access to higher elevations. That's cool. So his gameplay and the levels that are built specifically for his moveset yeah. is going to be a completely different flavor. It's going to be a little bit more strategic, a little bit more cerebral. I love that. And I think players are going to have to be a little bit more thoughtful about um, when to encounter a hazard, whether or not to, trans to change it into a platform and what type Platform yeah, that that's cool. At that point in the obstacle. I like that. Wow, it 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 seems ambitious that you're adding more elements to it, and then also yeah. you mentioned the the masks. How how do those work? So the quantum masks, there's four of them in this game, and over the course of the adventure, they're sprinkled, they're scattered across the universe. You're right. Have to rescue them from mm -hmm. certain the clutches of certain bosses, both familiar and new. Um, the quantum mask. Oh man, two of them I'm so excited. Today is the time mask and gravity mask okay. and masks 
in this franchise. They've got a lot of personality. They've got their own names and their own voices and their own powers. So the time mask that one's name hilarious is Kapunawa. And when Crash uh, uses Kapunawa, he's got the ability to slow down time to a crawl. Gotcha. So That's for cool. Obstacles yep. that are beyond just way too fast to interface with at normal speeds. He's going to be able to. And I'm guessing you can switch between the masks as you're playing. And in addition to that, he'll be able to get past nitro crates, which have traditionally been oh. one hit, one kill type of thing. But with the power I'll of time, you can mask. slow things down trigger that explosive and then get out just barely before that explosion obliterates everything in its path. The well, are we still going to have I'm a mask. Is uh, never mind the actually. Gravity mask and his name is Ika Ika. So when Ika Ika on Ika Ika, he's going to be able to That's flip funny. the direction Aku, of gravity Aku, 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 Aku. and walk on the top of ceilings, um, walk upside down underneath platforms to get past impossible obstacles. Uh, that was a I'm really big excited one for... to play this and again I was Crash back when the original PlayStation first came out. Mm -hmm. um, PS1. You know, Activision's done a great job with the remasters, but to uh, absolutely. have a totally new game, I absolutely, think is what everyone was hoping for. And uh, yo, this looks so like so, I'm uh, really excited for doing this, and and thanks for oh, doing you it even for a work from home situation. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's awesome to see. Wow, I can't wait to uh, get to play it later this year. I am so excited thanks for having me. It's you so better believe we're going to be streaming that. I think it's an exciting time for games, and I'm. So glad that we could um, reintroduce Crash, a new version um, and a new adventure um, at this time. Absolutely. Yo, let's go. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so Crash for It's About Time. It is, and it is. <laughs> it is about time, and it is about time. So, yeah, uh, that's awesome. I Again, I love Crash Bandicoot. Uh, I'm really curious to see if... Um, if there's only going to be like four or five levels with Cortex or if it's going to be like a whole route with him, you know, uh, having like a whole route for Cortex would be a lot because uh, usually there's like, at least in Crash 2 and Crash 3, there's like 25 levels, I believe. Uh, and so plus like some some bonus levels. Um, and yeah, I can't remember how many are in the first one. But wow, I am so excited. This is so great. Oh my goodness. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Because we will absolutely be playing this game on this channel. Because Crash Bandicoot is amazing. So <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much. And I'm Andy Brew. I'll see you later. Peace.